the lid on the oil, put the oil to the side. And I guess turn this off for now because we're not doing anything with it. And freak a leak. Go to Best Buy. <laughs> Go to Best Buy. I was just at Best Buy actually. Guys, you know, I don't know how, when the last time you went to Best Buy is. That fucking store. It sucks. It's terrible. It's awful now. I mean, like, it's really bad. There's nothing on the shelves. Nothing. There's nothing on the shelves. Like, Best Buy's been going downhill for a while. Like, uh, they changed the layout of the store a couple times. They got rid of a lot of, like, PC accessories and just had, like, camera shit and sound shit and it's dumb. Uh, like, I used to go there all the time to find uh, games for PC, but then, you know, that stopped happening and then... I'd buy accessories and just stuff. And then they didn't have that gaming section just shrunk and shrunk and shrunk until it was like a tiny corner. I went there for camera stuff the other day. I went to go see if they had any capture cards that I could pick up that day. Uh, there was nothing. <laughs> there was nothing. Yeah, but the, the whole camera section was like, it was like uh, Black Friday at Walmart had just happened. That was zip, zilch. There was like cameras that were like all cockeyed over on the <laughs> on the display. There was whole sections that were just empty. And there was no customers in the store except me. But there were like 30 employees. And I was very confused. Like there's... There's two guys over there. There's a couple at the desk over there. There's a security guy over in the front making sure people don't steal whatever's left. There's like three guys working in the back corner. Two people asked me if I needed any help. That's just like... What happened here? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on in the buy more? You know, this is confusing. Mm, mm, mm. 30 NPCs, yeah. Scary. Yeah, I miss the prime, the prime like electronic store era too. It used to be a place to go. You could, you could check out cool stuff. You're like, oh, I got my eye on this sick looking Corsair keyboard. You could go try out all the headsets and everything. Nah, yeah, rip Best Buy, rip, it's gone. <laughs> it's done for. And of course, I mean, I didn't expect anything else, but I asked the guy, the second guy who asked me if I needed any help, I was like, yeah, I'm looking for capture cards. And he's like, oh yeah, the Elgato or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, what have you guys got, if you got anything? He's like, pulls out his little phone, because they use a phone to parse everything that's in the uh, in inventory. Let me see if we got, see if we got anything in house. It right, looks like we got nothing. I could order it for you, and I'm like, I can order it for myself on Amazon. By order me a capture card on Amazon, like, Sag, man, Sag. Does no one have anything in stock anymore? Let me pull up our website and look for you. Pretty much, this is pretty much it. I could have done that out from elsewhere. I should have done it from elsewhere. You know, it's crazy. You can literally just, you know, Google it and, and done. And they're obsolete. The only reason I go to Best Buy anymore is that they hopefully have, um, I get a USB A to micro USB cable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you could use that. No, you, no, I can't. I can't. But yeah, the only reason I go there anymore is because I want something that day, right? And that makes sense as you go to a retail store, you buy it 
when you need it immediately. Otherwise, you just Amazon that shit, which yes, I know that's bad, but like, you need the stuff you need. <laughs> you need what you need. So I'm not ordering through Best Buy to wait for it to arrive to a Best Buy so I can go pick it up from a Best Buy. Or it arrives at my house through Best Buy. Now I pay extra money to Best Buy so that they can send it to my house. Eh, the heck is the point of that? <laughs> a phone cable. Well, I have an old dial-up phone. It's got, a, it's got a two rotary, double rotary system, triple locking. Uh, and you don't have to dial nine. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, what was I gonna do? I was gonna start working on the broccoli, broccoli rob, rapini, and everything else. Smoothie, surprisingly, surprisingly filling. Now that's a phone, true. I go to the Best Buy to get my life alert battery changed. <laughs> They should just ax the whole Best Buy, like, overhead store. All right, Dodo. Um, catch you in a bit. They should just ax the whole overhead Best Buy thing and just keep, like, the Geek Squad, right? They should just make the stores smaller retail size. And all they are are Geek Squad and, like, maybe some accessories. And they do, like, phone repair, screen replacements, you know, troubleshooting on computers, blah de blah. They only do assistance because the whole retail side looks freaking done. It, it looks done. And I know it's been looking done for a while. <laughs> Keep the Geek Squad brand because people know it and it's a good. And just. And just. Move on, I guess. Geek Squad's so full of it. I know, dude. If you even know one thing, <laughs> you don't really need them. I'll be honest. Anytime I've even, I've never, first of all, I've never given them my shit, like my computer or whatever. Um, because they are, <laughs> it's the Ron Swanson meme of, I know more than you. <laughs> <laughs> when he's in the, the Home Depot or whatever. It's literally that every time. Some sus looking rapini. Got a lot of wilt to it. Cool. Thankful for Geek Squad keeping my neighbor from asking me to fix his everything. True. It does give you a place to send the technology uh, impaired. Technologically impaired. That's the word I was looking for. You send them to the Geek Squad. Oh, I never tried turning it off and back on again. Thank you. You're a genius. Oh my god, you saved me so much time. I never tried plugging it back in. I didn't realize the cable needed to be plugged in. I thought it was wireless. It says a, this is a wireless keyboard. <laughs> Google is better than Geek Squad? Well, that's just a given, all right? Google is by far one of the most powerful tools <laughs> humanity has access to. It's crazy good. Crazy good. With Google and a little bit of sense, you could easily build a small rocket. Okay? Well, maybe not easily. But you could build a small rocket with Google and a little sense. You can identify venomous snakes quickly <laughs> very quickly if you have uh, google and a little bit of internet connection you know you ever used google for that 
you never been close enough to a venomous snake, I don't think. <laughs> you never been close and be like, mm, could that snake kill me in one bite? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a that's a diamond back. Monkass, it can swim. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Google in a bit of sense. Conclusive proof common sense is virtually non existent. That is true. That is true. Otherwise, we'd all have rockets. Small ones. Small rockets. Not big ones. Big ones are hard. But small ones will let you learn the concept of maybe building a big one. Google a few simps and Canlan's money. What? What is that? What good does that do? What the hell? What is? All right, we'll get the corn out. We don't really need the corn yet because that's for later. We can prep our greenery. Close. Beautiful. Well done. You've done great today. You earned a cookie. All right, so we're gonna blanch our rapini. You guys have seen blanching before, but if you haven't, it's pretty simple. You get some boiling salted water. You drop your green veg in it. Cook it 30, 45 seconds till it's par cooked, AKA almost done, mostly done. It's done to the level that you want it. It's cooked to par. Uh, and then you take it out and you shock it into ice water, which stops it from cooking. And when you're ready to use it, you saute it, you throw it on the grill, you use some kind of rapid heating method. You can drop it back into the hot water if you want to finish it off. Simple 30 second explanation of blanching. So we'll get some water boiling here. Go. And we're gonna drop all this beautiful, beautiful stuff in there. It's wasteful to replace working hardware. True. Walt, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome on in. Google and a. Oh, I read that already. There's something to be said for fuck it money. True. Fuck it money. Fuck it. Let's just build a rocket. We're a Bezos. You're a Bezos. Let's go to the moon. Yeah, you, you should show them all your snacks. Yeah, show and tell. <laughs> this is show and tell for people who uh, <laughs> for people who don't get any. Yeah. Some non snacks. Oh wow. Some more non oh wow. Oh wow. And you know it would really piss him off if you started snacking on them. One more now, What if you snack. opened them? By me. Started I'm eating them. See. That would really, really bite. Alright, I'm moving you guys over here, okay? Sorry for the fabric sounds. Anyways, like I was saying, I was once a part of a birthday party for my friend. Like seven, okay? This one is from Jeff. What? What? <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're like, oh, this is freaking fire. This one's for, for me? <laughs> That's amazing, dude. <laughs> Imagine you're at your birthday party having a great time. It's almost time for presents. It is time for presents. You've opened like five of them, and then some random kid walks over to your pile of presents, yoinks one, and it's like, thanks, man. Can't believe you got me something. That's so cool. <laughs> and goes home with it. Oh, man, that's great. Start tearing the wrapping paper off and everything. What's this? This is fantastic. I love this. <laughs> I didn't buy it, my mom did. I love it. I love it. 
I would I would 100% not have enjoyed that if I was seven. But if I <laughs> if I was 20, 28, oh, nice voice crack, uh, and watching that, I would be dying. I'd have been dying. <laughs> I'd have been off on the side just having a good old chuckle. Oh, man. Watching the face. First watching non-Jeff's face, and then watching Jeff's face as he understood the scenario. My God. <laughs> I'd have been freaking cracking up. Oh, God. Okay. Um, chat, watch this water boil real quick. I gotta go. I gotta go to the restroom. Actually, don't watch the water boil. It's not that important. Um, three, two, one. Your ears, this might be loud. This is your two second warning to maybe turn down the sound. Okay. Be right back. It's a celebration. Oh my god, that's loud. That is I'm in a great mood. What are you going to do? So that's great, you know? And by great, I mean terrible. Okay, we're back. I'm actually just gonna turn this cam off for now, I think. I'm just, just gonna power it down for a bit. Cause I don't need it for a second. And then we could probably take it outside. Cause I have to set up the grill at some point. Maybe we just do that now. Just do the grill setup. God, I just washed my hands. I'm over here walking around with my nose like a moron. Mm -hmm. was, if someone got the video of me running headfirst into a screen door. <laughs> oh no. We've all done that. Okay. You haven't lived unless you've walked into to a door that was closed and you didn't see it. Okay. Okay. It's happened to everyone. It's happened to everyone. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought you guys need to understand how I came to be the weirdest fucking person. No. Uh, no. What you don't understand is that we're all weird people. Well, that's it. Some of us just pretend that we're not. Mm-hmm. I've never done that. I walk into open doors. Oh, God. <laughs> That's pretty bad, too. The door is open. You just bonk, bonk right into it. It wasn't me, right? This one wasn't me. I didn't forget. It wasn't me. Photo Mia. Welcome in. Thanks for the phone. No, you're special. <laughs> I mean, yes, of course. I'm absolutely special. I'm absolutely special. I walk into uh, I walk into branches. That's my that's my problem. Is I walk into branches, like low hanging ones. I'll just be like walking, looking at something, looking the other way. Black. A branch gets me. That's a very annoying, actually. <laughs> very annoying. I've done it way too many times. I'm just like, what is going on? Why do I keep walking into branches? This is not okay. 
You know that stealing a turtle from a kid to trade it for Pokemon cards is generally frowned upon? That's a bit far. <laughs> that, that's a bit far. You tried to trade a real Pokemon for Pokemon cards, but it wasn't even your Pokemon. <laughs> you, you stole someone's Pokemon and you tried to trade it for fake Pokemon cards. That's messed up. That is messed up. Or that's like some, some serious Giga Chad moves right there. That's he's making mogul moves. <laughs> he had he had no Pokemon. He got one, acquired it, and traded it for super rare Pokemon card pictures. The guy's he's got skills. Uh <laughs> Tripped on the flat pavement. <laughs> the hey man, I'm cool nod. I love that. I've never heard it called that, but every dude knows what you're talking about. Why the branch gotta be black? It wasn't. What the hell? What the hell? I said blap. Not black. <laughs> oh God. We gonna need to move to nine. All right. So what do we need to do here? I guess we're just gonna set the grill up in the front because I don't feel like moving it to the back. Actually. Mm, do I feel like moving it to the back? No. We're setting up the grill in the front. Let me stay inside while the garage opens because that sucker's loud. Save some more stories. Do 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 do. All right. Yeah, let's get this grill set up. So we are going to use the grill for the pork, right? I think I mentioned that earlier. Is that the pork will see the grill at the end after it's fully cooked down and nice and. Uh, Nice and soft and tender, we will see the pork. And we're gonna take it and put it nice, right smack on the grill to caramelize up the remaining glaze. Um, so, the grill is not only gonna be for making the, the corn, it'd be kind of a waste, but it is partially for that, so that's good. Partially for that. All right, let me roll this sucker out. I don't know if that screen is on. I don't think it is. But let me roll it over and get it all set up for you. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Okay, I'm coming back. Coming back, got to make sure the screen is on so you can at least see something. I'm also going to need my phone. Okay, Twitch. So I can open my own chat here. My chat, my channel. Chat, 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 chat. Good. Welcome to Waybread's chat room. Can 110 gifted subs. What a maniac. And boing. There's the outdoors right now. Looking outdoorsy and shit. Dope. Dope. We'll hydrate. You ran away when you were eight? Didn't we all though? Didn't we all run away when we were eight? I think I made it to the stop sign. The end of the street. I think that's what happened to me. I made it to the stop sign at the end of the street. Maybe a little further. After that, I never really wanted to run away again. I did, however, go adventuring. <laughs> and uh, I had my parents, my parents and the whole neighborhood like 
was looking for me and my friends. Like, all of our parents were fucking out in force looking for us because we were, we were gone, dude. What we used to do was we'd go to, we'd go to, uh, we used to call it Adventureland. That's what we called it. I know it's pretty cool and epic and sick. We'd go to Adventureland, which was actually just the forest behind our neighborhood, which then bumped up against a massive construction site for a new neighborhood. And we'd just go over there and we'd like, whatever, fight pirates and build fortresses and splash around in random creeks and shit. And, you know, just get up to, just get up to no good, basically. But it was far. It was far. It, like, we were out there. Our parents had no shot of finding us. None. Zero. <laughs> if they didn't know exactly where we were going, they'd never find us over there. It was great. You made it eight blocks? Oh my god. This dude got off. Four days? Oh, at 15. I was gonna say, if you made it four days as an eight year old, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Still pretty impressive to go four days at 15. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. I think I think I came back when I realized how hard it was going to be to get food. Uh, <laughs> I was like, it's all dead set on running away. <laughs> I think neither my mom or my dad was like, well, how are you going to eat? What are you going to eat? I was like, oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> you're right. How am I going to eat? I need food. I was like, well, I guess I got to come back then. But just you wait till I figure out how to get this food. <laughs> just you wait. figure it out it's over all right let me aim you guys a little bit we got weird it's a weird time of day to be out because like the sun is setting weird shadow very weird shadows all right got our paper leftover packing paper I'm gonna get some wood chips and I need my torch. Yes, sir. Okay, where's my torch at? Where be my torch? I had it earlier when I was pretending to try to freaking light stuff on fire there we go this torch is kind of sad sad levels of fuel all right man it is fucking nice out here though high of 83 today it's in the 50s for humidity 50 50 percent and falling now so it is very nice out Start the fireball incantation. Good, good, good. I'll just add one of these right on in there. And scoop it into the... I got a nice little breeze too. That's it's very helpful because it means I get flame without having to do all the extra work. I'll probably move that camera forward a little bit so you don't see so much of the car. I don't remember where I put it before. 
I guess I must have put it on the edge. Or he parked in a different spot. Alright, let me get a lid here for this pot so I can get it to come up to a boil a little faster. I have a lid over here, no? Yes, no, maybe? I don't know. No? Also put it over here then. Oh yeah. Duh. It's right there. October 39th. Nice. It's a good day. It's a good holiday. October 39th. Okay. Not much left to do right now. Just chill. Timeline. I guess we can pull up. We'll pull up the pork right now. When I was eight, I was sent to stay the night with my uncle. Cross dress in Phoenix. Okay. Well, I woke up in a crib. In a crib or a house? Like a baby crib or in someone's house? <laughs> Anyway, your uncle was there, dressed in a red dress, watching The Simpsons, a gorgeous red dress. Okay. 10, 11. Decided I want to go back to my grandma's house. I was just down the road. Oh, no. A baby crib. He woke up in a baby crib. What the fuck? <laughs> Woke up in a baby crib And you decide to go down the road You go down the road Grandma's house isn't there They moved it I don't know how they moved it in such a short time But it, they did Uh oh Now what <laughs> What happened next I can't believe it was an actual baby I kind of thought you were using a little, you know, like, oh, I woke up in a crib, some random crib. Dude was next to me, he was like watching The Simpsons. <laughs> no, it was a baby crib. You woke up in a friggin' bassinet or whatever. What the hell? <laughs> this cord is tangled. I don't like it. Feels weird. 20 something kids like, yo, you need help? <laughs> I don't talk to strangers. Hey, bitch, don't talk to me. <laughs> I don't talk to you. I don't talk to strangers. Ah, you freak. I'm fine. Going to grandma's house. They just moved in, okay? Jesus. People these days. Keeps walking. <laughs> that guy's like, Guess he's fine. <laughs> Guess he's fine. <laughs> uh, seems legit. I moved my camera outside. Ted Young small snack can talk. <laughs> Can't believe that small snack can talk. That's crazy, dude. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I kind of want to show you what's going on with the braise. So the level, overall level of the liquid has reduced. It's really hard to show you from this angle. I don't really want to take it outside to show you. But if we were two thirds up the liquid, uh, up the protein before with the liquid, we're now like just below half, which is good. We want that reduction to be happening um, because that's how we're going to get that glossy glaze at the end of this. I'm gonna go ahead and check on the doneness of the meat. Yeah, it looks gone, but that's just because I don't really want to tip it to the side to show you that there's still some liquid in there. All right, the meat is almost there. So when you're doing a braise or any long, slow cook, um, what's what's gonna happen with the meat is it's gonna go through this stage of seizing up and that's right before it's done so after it seizes up 
it releases and you get this really, really, really tender protein. Um, but it's all the way done, right? It's cooked through, it's the right temperature, blah, blah, blah. It's not done, done. So you gotta leave it. You're like, oh God, it's so tough. I gotta stop. It's, it's awful, it's horribly tough. No, 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 no. You gotta leave it just a little bit longer and it will, uh, it will finalize into nice tender protein. And then if you leave it too long, it turns into sawdust. <laughs> yeah, you see? You see how that works? Uh, I didn't get far, the cops caught me. Damn narc. <laughs> he called the cops. <laughs> What the fuck called the cop? No, I don't talk to strangers. 911, what is your emergency? <laughs> this motherfucking kid just insulted me. He's walking down the street. He's got a cat. Somebody send the officers. Send the officers. Uh, okay, I gotta finish the story. Where are you supposed to be right now? I at my uncle Nick's house. Bro, they already know who he is? Uh, dude. That's how you know. That's how you know. That's how you know. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Like the the second you call the cops or you're talking to the cops and you say, "Oh, I'm supposed to be at Steve's place," and they're like, "Ah, oh, fucking Steve," <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a character. That person that you know, Steve, is not just a character for you. He's a real character. Okay, <laughs> he'll be Florida man one day. Ursulati, what's up? Calm bread. Oh, we ain't making no calm bread. We're making calm though. Calm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know Nick. Oh, I know Nick. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, he's the. <laughs> he's that guy. Turns out Nick was an informant. You knew him because he was a CI. All right, we're gonna dump our coals. It's a little early to dump the coals, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep them stacked as well as I can to keep that heat kind of. All right. And we're gonna just drop the corn right on there that up so there you go we're gonna wave at the neighbor you guys didn't see that but we said hello to the neighbor we've done our neighborly duties for the week <sighs> give me my voice dad Christian my streams already crashed once uh, so uh, sure why not yeah why not <laughs> fuck it I don't give a shit crashes again it crashes again Wakanda forever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we'll leave the corn on there. The corn will roast in that smoke. And uh, let's get some water. And the whole husk is gonna brown down, blacken up, but the corn inside is gonna be steaming in that, um, in, the, in the liquid, you know, that's evaporating out of the husk and out of the corn. So it's gonna be steaming in essentially corn flavor. So by the time we pull it off, it's going to have this really intense corn flavor. Uh, which will be fantastic. By the way, you don't really want to leave this sitting in the shocking water because it'll get soggy. All waterlogged and gross. So we're going to take it out. 
That was a mistake on my part, actually. And I'm just gonna pat it dry. Then you'll abandon for the day? Yeah, I might. <laughs> yeah, I might. What's it to you? What's it to you? None of your business if I abandon for the day. The house was nine miles away, so I was actually killing it. Only went one mile the wrong way. Sure. Take my PC to Geek Squad. So you can tell me, we don't know what the fuck's going on with it, man. The thing is, you ha I have to be streaming to replicate it. It doesn't crash normally. I have to be streaming. So, I mean, that, lead that leads you to think that some part of the streaming experience is crashing it. I.e. the cameras. Uh doop 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 something is biting my ankle. Does not feel good. Mm, what am I doing next? I think I was gonna make a uh What is a a salty dog? That's a gin drink using Grapefruit, but I hate grapefruit, so I'm gonna make it with orange instead. That's not yet, Dodo. Not yet. Uh, did, 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 did. Yeah, I don't have any tonic. Uh, let me look up a salty dog. Salty dog. Man, I don't love tonic. I like so I like gin and tonics, but they got to be kind of few and far between because I don't love tonic that much. Rosemary salty dog, gross. Rosemary. Wait, is all salty dogs have rosemary? No, not all of them. You don't need tonic for a Collins, true. I don't really want a Tom Collins though. I'm making a salty dog. I said what I was gonna make. Hacious. Did I not say what I was gonna fucking make? I said I'm making a salty dog. I'm just using orange instead of grapefruit. Since when is this goddamn suggestion hour in the way bread stream? Jesus H. Christ. I don't even know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> Delete your own disgusting twerking emote. Blah! I'm on a rage right now. What? What? Don't ask me to delete things. All right, come here. Pull over, that ass is too fat. <laughs> whoop, whoop, pull over, that ass is too fat. <laughs> uh, there's smoke coming in. He's gone basic. He's gone basic. After this guy suggests a Tom Collins, which is so well known, there's literally a glass named after it. I'm making the basic drink. 
Right. You can suck my salty dog, can one. Found you, Miss New Brittany. Get it, get it, bring it back to me. <laughs> Miss New Booty. Hit the place club. About a month or two. See what we do. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Watch out. Tons of homes in our neighborhood have citrus trees, so it's usually pretty easy to line up a swap. Wait, what do you. I just juice them for greyhounds. We have a. Ooh. Meyer lemons. You have a Meyer lemon tree. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. What I had this um, temporary house when I was up in Napa. The place was great. It was great. Like literally, the bounty of the valley was in our backyard. It was fantastic. Booty 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 rocking everywhere. Booty 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 rocking everywhere. Rockin everywhere. Miss New Booty, get it together, bring it back to me. All right, we need to do a rim. Let's make a little rim action. That's what your mom said last night. Um, and then we obliged. Cool. No, I don't want to rim with this. It's also what your mom said last night. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just arrived to rim action. Rim action. All right, I know what we're gonna use. Cool, 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 cool. What's up, Lemon? How are you? We're gonna use that sweet, sweet Red River Coriander. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Boss told me that as a security guard, it's my job to watch The Office. <laughs> On season six. Hell yeah. Ironically, that is what <laughs> security guards are doing anyway. I proposed to my wife under the sprite tree. <laughs> That's fantastic. Lemon lime tree. I thought that said spirit tree and I was like, damn, we got a spirit tree? That's pretty crazy. Mm -mm, thanks for that shout out. Also, what up, Texas? That was a good one. That was a good one. Got some ASMR for you. <laughs> I'm just grinding uh, coriander <laughs> with my hands. Uh, I also need to smash them up a little more. Sounds like you're cracking bones. Oh my god. Reminds me of my granddad doing the uh doing the bone cracking handshake. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? All right, we got a mixture here of coriander, salt, and uh, brown sugar. Rock with it. Rock with it. Dun, 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 dun. Got a rim. Mm 
<laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna use a shaker. You don't need to use a shaker. Um, you can use, you can make this as a built drink, but just for the sake of ease of ease of squeeze, the ease of squeeze, I'm going to uh, use the shaker. It sounded like the chopping and the sound of the Julia Child Autotune song. Uh, no, I haven't seen that. <laughs> You're gonna post in the Discord? Oh yeah. If you like my stories, be sure to follow me on Redacted. Snack is on Twitch chat. Just click on his name. <laughs> press the follow button. If you want to hear more Snack stories, Snack is on Twitch. Yo, Connor, enjoy the lurk. I try. <laughs> Captions not working. Thank you, thank you. I will uh, try to fix that. Appreciate. It. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's because I switched. I know. I never switched. I never switched the back end. God damn it, dude. This is why I don't want to format my computer, because I'll have to do so much fucking shit. <laughs> There's so much shit I'm going to have to fix after I format my computer. Yuck. Yuck. Fuck you, way. Ha. 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 All right, get that fresh orange juice in there. Orange instead of grape? Well, one, grapefruit sucks ass. And for two, grapefruit sucks ass. At me on Twitter, we can fight about it, I don't care. <laughs> and for three, I have orange and I don't have grapefruit because grapefruit sucks ass. Shitty. I don't think you know what the meaning of basic is. Mm -hmm -hmm. Wow. Wild. Oh, wild. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, all right. Need some ice. Mm hmm. What is the meaning of meaning? Now that's a fun question. Shit. I forgot. Drinking beer, why? You were looking down your nose at me and extending your hand. That's the moment I bitch slapped that shit out my Get that shit out my face. <laughs> I don't want your hoity toity dumb ass shit. Get your hand to yourself. Wonder if whey bread ever weighs bread? That's a good question. Mm. 
Yo. Uh, I have weighed bread before. Actually, what's the name of the drink? Uh, the drink is a salty dog. Uh, it's usually made of grapefruit and I just use orange instead. It's good. I'm allergic to that bullshit. Ooh, gross. The hell? <laughs> Nasty. You excited for Obi-Wan? No. <laughs> I haven't gotten excited for any, uh, for any Star Wars shit in a while. I got much enjoyment out of Mando. But yeah, I haven't gotten excited for anything for Star Wars in a while. Pretty much the second, not since the second, um, of the new trilogy, whatever came out after that, I was like, fuck this shit sucks. <laughs> I just don't get hyped about it anymore. I enjoy some of, some of the stuff like Rogue One was great, but I don't get hyped for it. I'll just be pleasantly surprised. What up, King? Oh, good. It's a good cocktail. I love the salt. I love the rim. Coriander brown sugar salt makes a really nice floral floral pairing to that gin. Gin and orange juice. <laughs> uh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> he literally snitched. You know what happens to snitches? Snitches get stitches. Get the fuck out of here. You think we want snitches in this chat? Ah, what is this? What is this? Get the fuck out of here, snitch. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we don't want no damn snitches. Oh yeah, what up, Baron? I cast a special fireball spell just for you earlier. Snitches get kids arrested. Let me go grab this, uh... <laughs> let me go grab this phone because I really need to be out in here right now. Come along. I don't even know if this is pointing at my face, but <laughs> I just assume that it's not the worst thing of all time. Oh yeah, it's pretty bad. It'll hold it all the way the fuck out here. Oh hey. Oh hey, yeah. My name is Waybread. Hey guys, welcome to my VOD. Uh, today, we're going to be walking around my kitchen, and uh, turns out we made some food here. Wow, can't, can't wait. It's going to be so fucking good. I got a drink. Fantastic. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, join me on TikTok because that's where I hang out now. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Check this shit out. Um, snack, thanks for the gift sub. I mean, wait, I told you you have to stop now. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Just join me on TikTok, you stupid fuck. God, people are so rude these days. What the fuck, man? All I'm doing is cooking for my damn kitchen. Look at the gloss on these fucking bad boys. 
And the fact that they just fall the fuck apart. Big delay. Whoa. You're right. It's wild. All right, let me put you guys down. Put you guys down. All right, because I need my hands here. For this little bit here. Look at that. You guys missed it before. The brazing liquid is, uh, it's moonshine, um, soy, water, orange zest, brown sugar, fennel, urfa chili, salt, and obviously all the all the crap from the pork. And the these are the country style spare ribs, cut down to be a bit smaller, right? So they're getting that gloss on them. Look at that shine. Oh my God. Falls apart from chopsticks. Oh my God. One second. I gotta process how good that is. Um, I saw someone ask what's on the menu. Um, dirty dog. Yeah, it's it's like a dirty dog. It's a salty dog. Replace the vodka with um. Oh, that's basically that's a totally different drink actually. It looks cool though. So braised, braised country style pork spare ribs, which are basically chunks of pork shoulder, right? They're not real ribs. They're pork shoulder chunks. And um, we're gonna do some broccoli rob with that. I have some corn going. I'm gonna throw the broccoli rob with some other greens. We're gonna have these, uh, all kind of separated. So we got some grilled corn, got some broccoli rub, and we got these bad boys uh, that we will. So the remaining braising liquid right here, you guys can see this. Almost a good glaze, not quite, right? Not quite. It's it's a good outer layer, but it's not quite a fantastic glaze yet. So what we're gonna do? Take all these out of here, and. Uh, I'm gonna need to stoke the flames because the last step for these is we're gonna reduce the glaze just a little bit more on its own. And then we're gonna brush these with the glaze and put them on the grill just to caramelize that, that bit of sugar that's left. All right, so we're just gonna kind of roll these through and then take them out one at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can one, did you see that we, I think you left, but we did a whole, uh, a whole walk shopping stream last night. So there'll be a new walk here on Friday, which is fun. It's a uh, blue carbon steel round bottom walk. That's exciting. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm hyped. We're gonna have to season the whole thing. Can't wait. I don't think it comes seasoned. It might, I don't remember. I hope it comes on seasoned so that we can do that first season ourselves. Look at that, dude. And you can get you can get whiffs of the fennel and the orange zest off of this bad boy. So like just standing here over it, it hits with a little a little floral and that citrusy zing to it every couple of seconds. All right, there you go. There you go. Glossy and beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I, it was basically you're doing. <laughs> I only did it because you lost your mind yesterday. 
And I felt shame. <laughs> I want to eat one of these smaller pieces. I need to save the rest for plating, but I want one of these pieces that's like full of fat. Mm. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing? I will turn you off. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot for me to feel that much shame. <laughs> Like I said, it's hard to buy actions out of me. Alright, pop these up here to rest. Actually, I'm just gonna cover them and rest them. Like, I like to rest in the microwave, but the thing about the microwave is that it's a little too warm. Nah, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. We'll use the microwave. It's the best spot. Wait, Kings, it's your birthday? Or when's your birthday? I gotta go join Grunge. Cannibals, sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. It was good to see you, man. Have good time zones, everybody. <laughs> I have good time zones. All right, so glaze back on the heat. Literal seconds, because there's not much of this left, right? So I just want to kind of activate the sugar in there a tiny bit. And I actually am going to add a tiny bit more sugar, because now it's, uh, now it's ready. Right, I don't have to worry about cooking the, the meat in there and having it over sweetened. Because at this point, what I want is I want this to be an extra layer. So we're adding a bit more, bit more sugar to it and we're raising the temperature to kind of reach the uh, softball stage. You can see, you can see based on the, the type of bubble that we got, right? This really thick bubble that almost, you'll, you, if you've ever made caramel before, you, you would recognize that this bubble is kind of, uh, it has a very tight structure, which is the sugar. That's the sugar creating that crystalline structure. Um, no, we kind of looked for, hmm, God, that's hot. We looked for one um, that would be cool. We didn't go all, all out. I think it, it wound up being like a hundred bucks, just over a hundred bucks. All right, we're gonna add a tiny bit of lemon juice to this. Just a bright, I can link it to you later. Do you want to see mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you posted it before, but I don't exactly remember which one it was. So yeah, go ahead. Where's my spoon at? I had a wooden spoon out earlier. There it is. Okay, can you guys see how thick this is now? Right, I can pull pull my spoon through and it's it'll take some time to run back that's good that means we have body here All right and that's a combination of the of the uh, collected fat and connective tissue from the pork and the sugar and kind of water alcohol mixture doing its thing it's not really any alcohol left in there to be honest that's perfect 
So now we can brush. I'm gonna give it a little taste test, but now we can brush, stoke the grill, and do a little smoke plus really high heat to, uh, to finish those off. It's insane, umami. It's insane, super rich. Might need to add a little bit more water just to take the edge off of it. I also can't really taste the lemon I added, so I'm gonna add some more. What? What the fuck? Because they're delicious? <laughs> That's why? <laughs> the fuck? Also, it's not a sauce. It says, suck my saucy dick. corn over and uh, get some more heat going on this bad boy Ugh, add more coals He took the camera away. I did. Did I have a redeem to change the music? Um, maybe. Depends on what you want. No, actually, <laughs> the answer is no. But you can ask politely and I'll consider your request. Really? That's dope. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking pog, dude. <laughs> Family friendly shit? Oh, what are you talking about? This dream's 18 plus. The stream is 18 plus. How are we talking about family friendly? Nice. I think the one we got was a 14 inch round bottom. Blue carbon steel. Citrus sprayer? Is it like a squirt bottle with citrus oil or what? what, what? Explain this to me. I've never seen one now. Citrus sprayer. It's a new one. All right. I was thinking I was going to do the broccoli rob on the grill too, but I'm not. I'm going to get the cast iron going. And uh, we'll just sear up the broccoli rob and then I'll hit it with some butter to brown it off. And then I'll hit it with some garlic and some chili flakes. Yeah, I put it up to vote for chat. And they were like, round bottom's the way. <clears throat> Which I'm down with. I'll have to find a good walk ring. Or just a walk ring. But I'm okay with it. It's fine. It's fine with it. Round bottom. <laughs> you make the rock, the walking world go round. Round bottom walks. You make the walking world go round. J 
gin will change your taste buds. Oh, really? How? How so? What way? I've never heard that before. I'm actually interested. So you get like a lemon or orange, it has an attachment where you screw it. Sprays the juice. Interesting. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm just imagining like this big miracle grow sprayer attached to like an orange. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic and parm, yum. Yeah, garlic and broccoli, Rob. Already big, big friends. I like to do a little, a little bur blanc, some chili flakes, tiny squeeze of lemon, maybe. But definitely the garlic on there. If you screw it, it sprays the juice. Hot. We hot. I need a slicing utensil. It's maybe like 10 bucks on Amazon. I don't know if it really works or not. Interesting. We should get it and do a review. Get it and do a review. Booze doesn't change your taste buds. Um, I think it does. I was curious as to how gin in particular, like a group of the botanicals maybe, has a play on your taste buds. I would assume it's not permanent, right? Because, you know, <laughs> your taste buds are constantly, constantly changing. All right. Garlic, um, throw some D's on that, D's nuts. Take one of these chile de arbol and we'll just chunk it down. Actually, maybe two of them. These are the ones I toasted ye uh, yesterday and still had left over. So we'll just toast those down or chop them down and they will be our chili flake for the day. All right, nice little chili flake. Great. Pium pium, pium pium, pium pium, pium pium. You guys want to come with me? I guess. Come along. We're going outside. Get out the way, move, bitch. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Okay, we're going this way. We're going over here. Yeah, we're just gonna crack this bad boy open. You can see our corn getting nice and roasty, toasty. This is exactly how you want it to look, by the way. Fully kind of blackened up on the outside. Like this one's basically done. I'm gonna move it off to the side. It's like here could be a bit darker, but that's okay. This one still needs time because we don't even have anything here. So we're just gonna roll that one directly over the heat. And uh, we'll leave it and we'll come back with the pork in like a couple minutes. There you go. That's not some progress out there.
Why are you guys fighting? <laughs> no fighting allowed in this chat. All right, so I'm not gonna, I have the skillet heated. It's hot. I'm not gonna fuck with it totally yet. Ah, ah, aha. I remember turnip greens. I have some leftover turnip greens. Um, that should get used. I've forgotten about. I already rinsed and everything. Forgot, can't believe I forgot about these. Um, so we're gonna take these turnip greens we're gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan and we're just gonna straight up freaking high heat crisp these boys. So I'm gonna turn on a little vent fan and I'm gonna add a tiny bit of oil. And then we will not trip over that. Okay, come along, come this way. Nice. Okay. And we're gonna go right on in there. Just like that. It's just that <laughs> easy to drop your camera. <laughs> Woo! That was close. I need a pencil to mark the studs in my apartment. Please help. Um, Alexa, please order 17 pencils. Best I can do. <laughs> Best I can do. Toothpaste. There you go. Toothpaste. Just take take a cinnamon stick and light it on fire. Right? And then you get the charred end. And you can use that char, that ash char, to write stuff. Alright? It'll mark up your walls no problem. You see? Free pencil. Done. And then you can light the whole ball on fire. And chuck it into the sink. And by the way, that's a good chance you set off your smoke alarm by doing that, so be careful. <laughs> Don't set off your smoke alarm. Is that enough so I can set off my alarm? That should be fine. Okay, so the turnip greens, you can see that color, that's what we want. Yoink! So what is great about turnip greens, I also do this with mustard greens, is that if you give them like a high heat scenario like this, you don't need to braise them for hours or anything like that. They'll crisp up and they'll have this lovely like flavor to them. Um, and they'll also be edible, <laughs> right? Without having to do any extra like crazy prep, which is great, dude. Like just, you don't have to braise for hours. You don't have to do anything except a quick high heat flash to, uh, Great. And I got the corn ready. We're going to take these off and plop them next to the broccoli rub. Okay. 
Great. Turn this off for now. What's up, Poob? Hot lettuce. This dude just walked off set. That's my new MO. So I'm always walking off set these days. <laughs> I'm always walking off set these days. Yesterday I went to the walk-in to have a cry. It's true. It's true facts. All right. Let's go ahead and peel down this corn. It's hot. Are we hot? Oh, look at that. Perfectly cooked every time. Honestly, if you have whole corn on the cob, why would you do it any other way? Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy the ring, Canlon, for sure. Absolutely. Right? Is that so much easier? Right? That's so much easier than like shucking the corn. 50, you know, oh, I gotta shuck the corn and then, and then you, whatever, throw it in the oven or put it on the grill. And then you have to baby it on the grill because it's, you know, it's now raw kernels exposed to the heat. No, no. Why would you even bother? Bam. What? Interesting. We're gonna cut these kernels. We're just gonna cut these down. This is more an aesthetic thing. Like I'm just doing this mostly for plating. Cutting through the cobs, All right? That'll just be for when I put it on the plate. All right, let's do the other one. Seriously, I don't know why anyone would bother like doing whole corn on the cob any other way. Like it's so easy to do it this way. And you get way more out of it because you're essentially cooking the husk flavor into the corn. It's just, it just doubles down on the flavor. It's so good. Cook it in its own skin. Well, it's a little fucked up when you say it like that. <laughs> but yeah, basically. Nope, no pre-soak. Just smack on the grill. Wow, I just got shot in the face. Yeah, no pre-soak, just right on the grill. Um, I do keep my corn in the fridge, so it was cooler because it was in the fridge. But it doesn't really matter. I've done it. I've done it straight, straight from, uh, straight from the farm stand right onto the grill. Uh, you don't put it directly over the heat. You put it like, on a gas grill, I always put it on the top, like um, in like the rotisserie section where you would slow roast. Uh, on my smoker, I just put it over, kind of away from where I have the coals. All right, so it gets a little bit more indirect heat. Just depends on how hot you got that grill running. According to the stud finder, I'm a catch. No harm meant. No harm taken. It was just amusing. Scroll if you want decent advice. If you're gonna go in on the ring, buy the 30k BTU walk burner. There's an idea. Can I run that inside my house though? So if I have to run it outside, I mean, I'm down. I am down. Those, those BTU, those things aren't bad. I've seen them for like 60 bucks or 40 bucks. Okay, 
Horn up. Fourth down. So this is the point where we're just going to go flash the pork real quick on the grill. Yeah, a stand that needs a propane tank. I just don't know if my house has the ventilation to run propane. Um, because, you know, my range, yeah, sure. But it's very well controlled, the range. I don't know. I don't know. Crack a window? Maybe. Maybe. I'd probably wind up just running it outside, like set it on top of the grill or something. That way I can just feel free to do it and I wouldn't worry about gassing the place up. You have 20, yeah, but it has so many, sa the number of safety features this freaking grill has, or this range has is honestly kind of wild. It's kind of wild. All right, so we need the brush. And I'll need to move the, um, I'll need to move the, the glaze into a smaller container so we can take it outside. Heel control, that's a great name. Thanks for the follow, welcome in. Welcome in. Have you been here before? I feel like I recognize your name. Maybe I've just seen you around Twitch. You're a worry wart. True. <laughs> True. But it never hurts to be safe when you're playing with gas. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Lurk for work. Boo. We don't got time for work. Get out of here. This is a party only, gaming only, good times only, big time kappa to everything I just said stream. <laughs> I wanted to buy it. That's fair. That's fair. I understand. I understand. All right. Let me go ahead and move this glaze out of the really heavy cast iron Dutch oven and into the really light glass container. So Chad, I used to do a very similar glaze to this. I do, I mean, I still do. This is for pork chops, which, um, is bourbon, maple, sweet tea, and lemon. This one's a little bit richer. This is more like um, bourbon street chicken than in, in origin. Right, it's, it's got that moonshine, the, the soy, the cardamom, the orange. All right, it's a little bit, it's a bit dark. Look at it, it's sludge. It's dark and sludgely. We're just gonna go ahead and brush those bad boys. Brush them up good. Brush them up real good. We're gonna need to make sure that the grill has a little bit of oil on it because as you can imagine, you wouldn't want any sticking when you put these down. Okay, obviously not. Sticking would be bad. What we want is just like really nice color to form. Have you had that kind of lettuce before, Way? What kind of lettuce? Redbone, what's up? Hello, how are you? I didn't see what kind of lettuce you were talking about. A sugar daddy? So you're talking about money. Um, no, I've never had that kind of lettuce before. <laughs> That's not what you were talking about at all, but it is funny. Um, Redbone, I got some country style pork spare ribs here, which are glazed up in a bourbon 
brown sugar glaze essentially uh, there's a bunch of other stuff you can uh, you can ask if you're curious I got some grilled corn on the cob and then we have some broccoli rob and some seared turnip greens that we're gonna be doing for greens uh, in a second um, yeah right, we're actually gonna put it all together here in just a moment I'm gonna get my skillet hot and I'm gonna get some butter out because I have to go in and out from the grill I kind of want to plan out my steps a little bit here because I want to make sure that the broccoli kind of comes together right as this stuff is nice and hot and coming back in uh, mosquito eh? Mosquito, eh? Classic little bastard. I even have the door open that long. This is our fate now. Mosquitoes. Did it? Sounds spooky. All right. Let's go ahead and I need a little bit of oil on a cloth so I can oil the grill. And then we'll go out and do some quick, some quick finishing. These are fully cooked, right? These braised for an over an hour. Uh, actually, over two hours. I don't even know anymore because my, because <laughs> my fucking stream died earlier. So I don't know how long it really braised. But uh, I would try to say it's probably two and a half hours, almost three hours. So these are fully done. They don't need a lot. They just need to go quick on the grill, caramelize that sugar, and then uh, off and onto the plate. I just put the oil down first before I even bring anything out so that it's nice and ready to go. And so we're just gonna go ahead and grease this up so I don't have any problems. Alright, here we go. Turn this off. He's five foot five. <laughs> yeah, I'm five foot five. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you got it. Five five. And just add like uh add twelve inches and take away one. Is that streaming or did I lose connection? Hopefully it's still streaming. God, those look so good. Just these beautiful, glossy, glazy beauties. Beautiful, glossed up, glazed up, gorgeous pieces of short rib, pork shoulder. All right, and I'm not even gonna come back inside. Well, I'll come back inside. I'm gonna leave the, uh, I'm gonna leave the top open. Cause I wanna just go right back and flip it. I just wanna make sure that everything's working. Happy summer, mosquitoes, yeah. What a bummer, you know? What a bummer. This guy's eyeing up my grill top. I think he was gonna steal my pork. I think he was gonna steal my pork bits. I don't think so. Damn, chat. What the hell? That looks so good. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. It's perfect. Okay. All 
I can smell the, the caramelizing sugar. Some of them are going to be much better than others, but it's not like a crazy variation that I'm worried about. So that's okay. Ow, fuck. Burned my hand. I burned my hand. Look at those. In we come. Thanks for the gifted sub. So you try to sneak that in there. It's not gonna happen. You're the mosquito? Yeah, uh, I'm the mosquito. And you're the fucking deet. God, you're so toxic. All right, so let's move quickly here. Get the uh, skillet back on. Danielle, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. So I left this kind of hot, but not like super, super duper hot. So it should be just enough. Get these going. Start getting them in that butter. Put them with a little bit of salt. And then a second we'll bring in the garlic. Find a bit of salt there. Garlic and chili flakes. Yoink. So if the chili flakes go, or sorry, the garlic goes like super uh, crispy and brown, that's fine. If it stays perfectly like um, white and just sweats down a little bit, that's fine. But a crispy and brown is ideal in this scenario. But don't overcook your broccoli rob. If you do the timing weird, don't overcook your broccoli rob. That's what's most important is that like, you don't wanna fuck it all up after getting it to this point. Okay, so we're rolling. Let's get some plates. I'm gonna just do one small plate, then I'll serve my roommates, and then we'll do the rest of the plates. All right, makes sense. I'm gonna roll this corn through. Grab a couple pieces of broccoli rob, intersperse it with some uh, with some crispy turnip leaves. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plate that around the corn. Okay. We're just gonna go leaves leaves out. Gonna make a stack. Thieves try to get at you. Okay, we'll grab these bad boys. I'll show you guys the plate in a second. I'm just moving to get it all on there. Okay. How many balloons? Zero balloons. You haven't even cleared the ones you that are like dying on my floor. You know? Zero balloons, please. There we go. And it's low carb. I wish we had the, the high quality cam up and running, but we just don't right now. Ghetto, what's up? Uh, the greens are broccoli rob or rapini and turnip greens. Just mixed up, they have a little chili flake and some garlic butter and a touch of salt and pepper on them. Really, really tasty. Honestly, uh, if this wasn't mostly a braised dish, I would say this is a great like summer grilling recipe, right? Cause you got the grilled corn, 
you could do the broccoli rob rapini outside right maybe not with the 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 country style short ribs but you know and if you wanted a carb uh, I think rice would be great here uh, rolls would be okay like bread rolls would be okay um, but I think rice is an ideal choice just plop it underneath the plop it underneath the greens I'm just gonna put together a couple like dumpster fire plates. <laughs> the food is on there and it doesn't look terrible. But the the most important thing is that the food gets to my roommate as well. It's, it's still nice and hot, so I'm not really worried about how it looks right now. Yeah, if you wanted a carb, I think rice is gonna be really great here. Something to kind of soak up the pork um, juice and kind of really lock in some some extra flavor, extra component. I thought about doing rice, but I just did rice yesterday. I thought about adding it today, but I literally just did it yesterday, so I have a little leftover. If the roommates want a carb, I'll just ask them and we can just nuke some of that rice up for them. You can also elote your, if you wanted, you could elote your corn, right? Hit it with some tahini, some crema. It'd be really good. Where's my phone? Mm -hmm. Ah, shit. Ah oh, shit. Wait, do I have a dinner to go to tonight? Um, oh shit. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, uh, pardon my language. Oh my god. I, I think I'm supposed to go meet my dad. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I totally forgot. I hope that's tomorrow and not today. Yikes. Yikes. His second day being COVID free and healthy. And I'm gonna I miss I'm gonna be late. <laughs> I'm gonna be late. Uh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Why are you gonna be so mean? Not kettle, but I love veggie meat only dishes. Same. Sometimes you just want something a little lighter. I think as the weather gets hotter, and especially here in North Carolina where the humidity is fucking high. As the weather goes up and the, it feels more and more oppressive, I, I start to make more and more like carb-free choices. Um, like I'll probably be making a lot more salads and uh, we'll do, I mean, we'll get, I mean, we stay creative obviously, but we'll definitely see a, a change in diet um, just to kind of match the season. Do you want um, some rice? I have some that I can nuke. Okay. Yeah, of course. Um, let me call my dad, chat. God, I can't believe I forgot. God damn it. 
I was supposed to meet him tonight at 7.45. 7.44. Yo, what's up? Uh, that thing's not tonight, right? It's, it's tomorrow? Ah, fucking sucks. God damn it. Uh, oh, yeah, you see you guys are like rolling up right now, yeah? Um, no, yeah, I'm still live. I'm almost done though. Uh, we finished the plating and, I, and I'm gonna just clean up real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, don't worry about, don't worry, yeah, exactly. Don't hold it up for me. I'll, I'll get there and I'll just hang out. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no worries. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Later. Yeah, so it was today. Whoops! <laughs> Whoopsies! So it was today. You know, that's fine. That's fine. He wasn't mad. He didn't say, he was just, you know, you heard him. He laughed at me. He wasn't mad at all. He just laughed a little bit. It's chill, okay? It's chill. Don't call me. I'm not a moron. I just, for he told me literally yesterday that it was happening. I, I just forgot what the day was. All right. <laughs> I would have remembered, but you guys were trolling me all day. And so I forgot. And my stream crashed. Okay. Things get out of control. We heard everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and he wasn't mad. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Shit, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not like that. He's not like that. He'll just tell me, you dumbass, what are you doing? <laughs> he saw that I was still alive. You heard that part too? This is fucking good. You don't beat corn grilled in the husk. You just can't beat it. It's so fucking good. <laughs> we didn't troll you? What are you talking about? Christian literally told me my sauce looks like the back end of a diuretic dog. Okay. He actually said that to me, which is just fucked up. Look at it. Is it not pretty? Mmm, I like it like that. That's constructive criticism? It didn't sound very constructive. Where's the constructive part of it? Constructive criticism would be your sauce has always looked like the back end of a diuretic dog. You should lighten them up a bit. They're so dark. <laughs> that would be constructive criticism. Oh, slow motion? Oh, you're right. It's too late. The song's over. <laughs> it's not constructive criticism. Don't defend him, snack. All right, I think I know constructive criticism Having had the the destructive version screamed into my ears for years Okay, I think I know the difference now Your chef coming by and saying your salad is too flat and needs to be fluffier Is not helpful <laughs> You know what's helpful? Explaining what the fuck a fluffy salad is. Hmm. 
<laughs> so why are you defending his, in, d his destructive criticism? How dare you? How dare you? Why I oughta slap the shit out of myself. Right. I got that part. Like I understood that part. And I and I took it as it was meant to be. A straight up troll. <laughs> okay. Took it as a troll, which is what it is. I appreciate you trying to change it into something else. I don't. Okay. I gotta go. Alright, you people are lovely. And I've had a great time. But I gotta go. I gotta snap at least one picture of this. And I gotta clean this up so it's not a freaking sty. And then I gotta run off downtown to go meet my dad. Um, for a dinner that I'm already five minutes late for. Okay. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. I've loved most of it. But, uh... Yeah, nothing to be done. My ass has got to go. Okay. I'm going to go eat great food, drink some nice cocktails. Well, maybe not, but at least some good wine. I'm going to go shoot the shit with a sommelier and see what they're up to. Okay, that's what I'm going to go do. So, thank you guys for being yourselves. Um, and being true to yourselves. I feel like everyone played their role today really well. Christian, great job. Excellent trolling. Dodo, a little too on the nose, but it's okay. You still did a really good job. Can one, great job. Only five gifted subs. Six gifted subs. You kept it somewhat under control. Great job. Lara, beautiful arms. Well done. You know, snack, excellent heart, heartfelt story. Encouraging words from everyone. Beautiful, beautiful job. Uh, daughter, a couple lewd comments here and there. And uh, general positive appearance in chat. Great, and then leaving to do work. That's right, right up the, your alley. Right up your alley, you, you nailed that, you know. I don't have time to highlight everyone's good time, good roles, but uh, just know that you all did a great job. Did a great job today. Okay, have a great night. Um, go see some lovely humans. <laughs> I don't know who's live and I also don't have time. Well, I have time, who cares? I have time, I'll be responsible. Oh, to this guy, look at this guy. Oh, Rusty Rhymes. Rusty Rhymes is live. Mr. Rhymes. Mr. Rhymes. It's great. It's perfect. It's a perfect raid target today. Can you guys just, uh, uh, you know, go inform Mr. Rhymes that I am uh, not there. <laughs> Grimy. Dude, it's my pleasure. Um, but he's a great human, and I wish him all the best on his stream. I uh, say hi, be nice, and enjoy yourselves for the rest of the evening. Uh, if you've never been here before, my name's Ben, or Waybread. I stream six days a week. Thank you so much for being here. I will be back tomorrow, and hopefully my stream doesn't crash tomorrow as well. That'd be great. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Discord, Twitter. Not YouTube. Not yet. <laughs> And enjoy yourselves. I know I said that already, but I mean it. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye. I hate when my stream crashes.